What does this do? Aaron's Mill. Oh, that, that's another entrance to Aaron's Mill? Huh. Intriguing. For now, however, I am going to Black not redo that mission. Smile tonight. Have I been down here? You know, he could be talking about, like, sewer goad, and it's totally possible that I already have it. Jebediah Chokes is a right prick. What? The leader of the eel biters? Yeah, him. Little Lou don't want to pay his protection racket, so he grabs her hand. Quick as you please. Wait, 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 did she actually- did he actually cut off her hand, or did he just try to cut off her- or not cut off hand? Or did he just try to cut off her finger? Because that is a very important detail. Oh, god damn it. Here we go. I'm like, did I go to a dead end? It's a possibility. Do I have to go through a loading screen? I do have to go through a loading screen just to jump over to the other side of the area. Oh, boy. Oh, shit! God! Hey, buddy! I sure hope you enjoy having an arrow in your face, because I think it's symbolic. Okay. So here we have a body that I just perfectly stuck with an arrow. Not getting the arrow back from him. Hmm. Spamming E on his face. Yep, can't get the arrow back. Myth busted! Uh oh. Hey! You're a civilian, so you don't care about my presence. I need to sleep. No, you don't need sleep. Who needs sleep? Hobos do, apparently. You're doing okay, man. I can make you feel better. <laughs> he won't feel anything at all. And if that- I think that's a big improvement over sitting in the street starving. Granted, now that he's asleep, he might not be able to do anything to solve his own starvation, but uh, it's not like he was going to do anything, anything. Anyways, he was just kind of sitting in a corner. Okay, so... It looks like... Two of my side missions take place over here. Actually, wait, does this one just take place over... On this place? I don't fucking know. I'm going to Ector. Hello, Hector. I've walked a long distance just to see if you have any missions for me. Go about your business, but don't forget your good friend, Hector. I'll need your help soon enough. You son of a bitch. You motherfucker. I came all the way here just to see if maybe, just maybe, maybe Hector needs some help. Maybe just, you know, someone stole some for him. Surely he knows about what he wants. Long, long before he actually asked for it, right? I mean... It's not like the longer he waits, the the, the, the more the parts will actually end up changing. Ah, well. Guess I'm heading to watch station. The Baron huh? Dead. That was dramatic. The Baron is dead! Kills a dude. Really? He's not- There's a lot of angry people in this Not dead city yet. Tonight. The Baron's a popular man for all the wrong reasons. Okay. The question is... There's a... Grandpa whose ashes I want to get. And I guess they're up there. How do I get up there? Hmm. Okay. Just want stuff. His things. There's probably a rope arrow. Am I getting sick? No. There is no rope arrow thingy. At least not from what I can quickly glance. What? And how do I get up there? Maybe I have to go across the rooftops. Okay. And how do I get up there? I don't know. I haven't seen a mob like this since the old bear gardens. Bear gardens? What about bear gardens? Hmm? Did they have a garden full of bears? Or is that just the name of a riot that happened? I don't know. Oh! Look! One of them fire arrow ones. I'll shoot it just because I, I found it. Freedom! Yeah, I like freedom too. Hello, what is this? Uh, 
Okay, we have some arrows that I might want. Animal fights aren't for me. Couldn't stand the crowds. But animal fights aren't really have a couldn't stand the crowds. <laughs> uh, uh, if the Gravens have a cure, yeah, I'll go for it. But I don't like animal fights. Good for him. I'm glad he doesn't like animal fights. Now seriously, how the hell do I get up on these place? Uh, in this place? Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on, because maybe the entrance is over on this side. I don't fucking know. Does that guy have anything on him? Nope. Hi. Can he see me over this edge? No, not really. Good, alright. It's got one of those lean systems that just... You're fucking invincible. No one's gonna see your ass. Shit. I figured the place was shadowy enough, but apparently not. Oh, Graven, Graven, Graven. What am I gonna do with you guys? Oh, hey, look, there's the obelisk. Jesus Christ. The shadows did not keep me as hidden as I figured they would. No, sir. Now you guys do have a friend back here, but I don't think he's caring. Yeah, he's just sitting here not paying attention. Good. So I'll just go ahead and grab this obelisk plaque. How you doing, mister? Now what do we have here? I believe you are numero uno. It didn't seem to do anything. You know, I'm just gonna say... We're, we're gonna say we didn't do anything just because it has to be part of a larger chain. Although I do wish something had happened so that way we can know, oh, I pressed it in the right order. You know, like, oh, I heard a click. Some shit like that, you know? And knockout. Alright. I need what's on you right now. Yeah, 12G, good enough. Uh, what kind of arrows do we have hidden in here? I like how all these boxes just have arrows in them. From a gameplay standpoint, I can understand, but I mean, do you really need to have just boxes of arrows standing around? It's kind of odd. Oh! Hello! Where the hell does this go? Sideshow attraction. Oh, it goes to a mission! Apparently. I don't know what fucking mission it goes to, but sweet. Oh, hello. Have a look. Oh, I not. I did use a couple of arrows. Uh, rub arrows. Okay, we're good. Pleasure. I did go back to the. Uh, I did go back to my watchtower. In ga to gather some supplies, so I do have a few more poppy, and that makes me happy. There's so I have so many fucking poppies just sitting inside the damn. Clock tower. They're all singing away in my chest. I have like eight more. <sighs> so that's something I always need to stop by when we're done. Okay, so I just want one big fucking circle. But good to know about that side entrance. Now I want to get up top because I want to get the damn grandpa's ashes. But does this go to the same place? Sideshow attraction? It does. Ooh, hello. Where do you go? Are there three entrances into the same place, or does this lead up top? Ah, I think we're getting closer. Sweet, okay, we're here. Let me just look in this back corner real quick. Ah, free poppy. Exactly, this is why you look around the area. Oh, Grandpa! Where you at, dude? Uh, maybe I should... ...nab everything before I head into other rooms. 
If they're locked, then there's a chance that there's someone in there. Really? He only has to pay five gold coins for this? He stole a fucking opium pipe. And cabbages! He stole someone's cabbages! What a dick! I think Grandpa deserved to be inside of a fucking lash thing over here. I heard a sound, and it kind of scared me. <laughs> Didn't know what the hell it was about, but okay. Okay. Anything useful? Ooh. I guess Vassal's client is more interested in the yarn, but perhaps I think too little family ties. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say maybe he's got family members that care, but Garrett does put it into a fine point. It, they probably don't care that much. With that said, Grandpa's got a little bit of something hidden away back here. Hmm. Is it a secret entrance? Oh god. I have no interest in dealing with five pick doors in the long manner. Easy, boom. Oh, traps. Traps are never good for me. Where is the disarming switch for it? Fucking not here. Okay. Ah. That's how come I couldn't find the entrance. Because it was a rope arrow into a fucking small hole kind of thing. Okay. Now give me a moment while I... Cut the fucking wire over here. I may never come back. But at least if I do come back, I don't have to worry about getting shot by poison arrows. Not that they really poison me, they're just more like they hurt. Which kind of makes them pointless. Like, ow, I've been mildly inconvenienced. I'm gonna need a band-aid while I steal hundreds of gold from this dude. Unbelievable. Although you could say that these guys don't have, like, modern medicine in the form of... ...band-aids. Although I have a bandage on, so fucking of course they're gonna have band-aids. Granted, bandages aren't the same thing as a band-aid, but... ...you know... I, I, they have fucking- they have electricity, they have to have band-aids. It's simple, all you do is you get a little bit of a gauze, you put it on a thing with a little bit of adhesive, boom, there you go. Oh, fuck yeah. Got myself a nice little watch metal thing. All because of Grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa. Alright, well now that we've gotten that out of the way, I guess we're gonna head down to the slideshow attraction. Or I can do the obelisk things, but I'm good. Ooh, I almost fucking walked off the edge. That could have been terrible. Now, generally, when we have like dedicated areas, the client missions are a little bit more interesting. Maybe not fantastically so, but it's different than just like infiltrating a building along the way to something. No, it's just like you're going to a place, and it's different. Followed the key. I'll not go rummaging in a watchman's guts again. Stop bleating. The boys upstairs cracked me off the door. The criminals are running the station. Not much has changed. <laughs> we still need to unlock the cell. You guys had good times inside of jail? You guys are crazy. Oh! They're talking about that top hat dude's girl. Okay. Let's see if these guys like getting headshotted all around the place. 
It's the quickest way to dispose of anybody who tries to oppose me. Oh, there's a key to here. Damn it. Alright. Looks like we're going on a hunt for a key. It's probably not gonna be around here either. It's gonna be up top. Oh, as long as our friends never come down here, we'll be fine. Did I have to kill them? No. Did I want to kill them? Yes. Although, I guess the next person I see, if he's by himself, I'll just throw something at him. What is this? Oh, there's a fire barrel! That would have been an exquisite way to kill them. But... I'm not a creative person, so I'm good. Oh, poor lady. Most of the black tops are decorating their own gallows. Poor old iron boots. Who? What? Oh shit! Hi! I'm glad you're coming for me! So I can initiate a little bit of melee combat. Boom. Knockout. New objective, free Isabella. What, did I knock out everybody in here? Oh. Well, that's... That's easy, okay. I wanted to listen to their conversation and steal a little bit of, uh... their money, but they just had to turn around and get themselves killed. Wow, one of them got themselves killed, the other guy's just knocked out. It's all friggin' rats and no so. <laughs> Damn, I missed! Don't move, dude! I need to kill you! Yes! I am enjoying myself with killing people now. Uh, take that with a grain of salt and how I just phrased that, but I mean... Yeah, no. Sometimes I'm not a big fan of just sneaking away in the darkness. Sometimes I'm a fan of shooting people in the head. Yeah, what do you have there? Apparently not much of anything. Ooh, never mind. What am I talking about? There's plenty of something in here. Along with a safe. So did the Graven destroy this place? Or did the criminals kind of come in here and destroyed it? Or did the criminals come after the Graven destroyed the place and are just kind of like looting what's left over because the Graven don't actually care about what's going on. They just want to kill the Blacktops. I don't know. I think it's that last one. I think these guys are just trying to clear out the place. Ah. I was hoping for a key, but holy shit. Lots of money is okay too. Uh huh. And why would I want to go down in this room? Let's find out. Maybe one of these guys has a key. Maybe this was just another entrance to the place. It probably was another entrance to the place. Okay. I liked my entrance. I popped up right at the bottom where I needed to go. Yeah. Ah, I just find a key for it. In one of the many rooms. Okay, that was to the right. There we go. Sometimes the lockpick thing is kind of weird, just because you have to kind of shuffle your mouse around, and I want to feel like I'm doing it in like a specific direction to unlock something, but in reality you're rotating it and just... Whew. Rotating is weird. Aha! I'm spending more time breaking into jails than out of them these days. Now for Isabella. <laughs> right? We had to save Basso, now we're fucking saving Isabella, jeez. I wonder if Garrett ever had to spend a significant, significant amount of time inside of a jail. I can imagine. Hi, bird. I don't know what you're all worked up about, nothing's happened. Yet. Oh, this looks like it could contain something, but apparently it doesn't. <laughs> I think. Is that everything in here? It is. Good, alright, so I've knocked out all the people. 
knocked out being very subjective. Let me just go ahead and uh, put you guys on the lower floor. Whoa! Oh. They don't even really do all that much. Like, it, it kind of- it looked like it grazed him, but that was enough to knock him out, so... Good for him, I guess. Anyways... We descend... Or do we? I didn't check out this floor completely. Oh shit! Oh, how you doing, fella? You just had to be left over, huh? Sitting inside of a room with a bunch of- Man, what are we doing? Fucking trying to drink the wine? Don't do that on your job. That's why you got yourself knocked out. Alright, what is this? Uh, four lock. I'm surprised I haven't ran into like a six lock, or seven lock. Just so they can like, dick around with me. We've been doing five locks and four locks and three locks forever. There we go. And what do we have inside the blocks? The blacktop box. Ooh, food. It's always good. Now, what do we have here? That porcelain lady. Well, none of them kind of be porcelain. To keep teeth white, one should treat them daily with a mixture distilled from the cocoa plant. So... And some... Are you saying coffee or just chocolate? Because, uh... I'm like, I, I wouldn't mind a diet of chocolate. <laughs> coffee on the hand? Ew, no, ew. Don't like coffee. Oh yeah, I did leave a lot up down here. What about rooms? Nope. There are no other rooms. Good. What is this for? Prisoner register. One, Meansley, charged with assaulting a watch officer and impersonating a watch officer and falsifying edicts of the Baron during impersonation of a watch officer. Four, Scrims, charged with graven crimes and possessing a foul stench of all manners of humors. <laughs> Playing dead after questioning. Six, Easy Beller, charged with vagrancy and suspicious behavior and causing a ruckus. Seven, Carlos, charged with a disrupting watch business in disregard for curfew and pissing on the Baron statue. Yeah, definitely that last bit there. But I didn't say anything about the chick, so that's weird. Maybe one of the chick- maybe the chick is one of them. Who knows? Maybe the chick doesn't actually exist. Maybe it's all in that guy's mind. And his mind is so powerful that... Even the grave, or even the looters were able to, like, imagine Fine her peace. existence. Although they hadn't seen her, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright. Now, for real, we descend. 